How's it going guys? Kerr Stevens here with Outlaw Bits Gaming and today I wanted to try something a little bit different. I've uh, been collecting a lot of games through the month of May and I thought it'd be a really good idea to kind of bring them all together and show you guys a monthly pickups video. So this is the first ever Outlaw Bits Gaming monthly pickups video. I can't thank you guys enough for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty guys, the first set of pickups on our list is uh, from a solo trip that I took up to the disc replay on 31 here in Indianapolis. And I was so excited that day. I got on Facebook and uh, towards the bottom of the page I saw that the Worms Armageddon had gotten back into the store. Because about a week beforehand, I saw it on there, I called them immediately and somebody had already gotten it within it being posted for an hour. So I was super stoked to get it. Um, I brought it home that night and we streamed it live if you caught that but it's a great multiplayer game guys it's a tactical strategy game um, you take the role of these little worms and they're trying to kill each other with badass weapons it's pretty cool if you've never played it I really suggest trying to pick it up or finding a buddy who has it uh, it costs about $129 or so so it's a little hard on the pocketbook but it's totally worth it and uh, the second game I picked up that day was Super Smash Brothers and I actually had 20% off in the store and you can see the condition of the uh, label is a little bit dis discolored so the game was drastically cheaper and my 20% off actually paid for the game so win-win guys we landed the next set of pickups at the disc replay on East Washington Street now I'm gonna hand it over to my lovely girlfriend Laura and she's gonna tell you what we got Alrighty, baby, show them what you got. <laughs> okay, so it's actually a really good day. We went and found uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. We got Cortex Strikes Back. Hey. The case, however, is a little bit damaged, so we'll have to find something new for that. Um, a little bit random. Didn't really expect to get this, but we got Adventure Time. Hey, Ice King, why'd you steal our garbage? Um, $3. Thought I'd get it because I love Adventure Time. The garbage thief. Uh... <laughs> And this was actually a really cool find. This was an anime I used to watch back in the day. So this is a collector's edition, which I read on the back, and it actually has a full art gallery, a CD soundtrack. Uh, let's see, the Japanese and English audio sub and dub. So this is a really cool find if, you know, anybody was into this anime back in the day. So, yeah, that was the disc replay day for me. Solid, solid finds. As Laura was saying, the first game that we picked up was Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Crash Bandicoot franchise. It's an awesome platformer that was developed for the PlayStation, and uh, it's super fun. We've been trying to get them slowly but surely, and for $9.99, I couldn't pass it up. I'm not too worried about the case. Um, it is heavily damaged, but we'll swap that out with something else. No big deal. The second game we picked up that day was Adventure Time. Hey Ice King, why'd you steal our garbage? That's not very nice. You journey through the land of Ooh and you find perilous dungeons, radical treasure, and monsters to punch in a quest of never-ending fun. Um, you take the role of Jake and Finn. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's super cool. It uh, uses the 2DS and the 3DS capabilities, which I thought was super neat. But uh, yeah, we're super stoked to play this and we're really happy that we picked it up. Now the last game that we picked up that day was uh, Okami for the Wii. And I've been really stoked to play this for a long time. I've seen a couple reviews here on YouTube about it. And I like anything that Capcom puts out. They're really cool. Um, really great studio. And I like the way that it utilizes the uh, Wii remote. It's a paintbrush of sorts. 
I don't think the PlayStation 2 had that, so uh, super stoked to give it a try. After I play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, after I get that game conquered, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a shot. So Now before we embarked on our journey to get this last game on our epic pickups list, Laura and I stopped by one of our favorite sushi bars on the north side of Castleton, The Journey. Here's some footage of our epic pre-pickups dinner date. So good. So freaking good. It's a good baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just finished up our dinner there at the Journey, and uh, we're stuffed to say the least. <laughs> I'm bulging. Alrighty, guys, we just got here to the exchange. We're about to hop inside and see if they got our game in. The last game that we picked up in the month of May comes from the exchange in Castleton, and uh, honestly, it's one that I'm the most excited about. From a collector standpoint, this is the holy grail for the PlayStation 2 for me. We picked up Futurama for the PlayStation 2. Now we hunted this game for months and months, working tirelessly trying to find it. We called so many game stores, every single game store in the state, some game stores out of state, multiple times a week, and we finally got our hands on it, and I am so excited. Um, the awesome guys at the exchange got it sent in from another store, and we couldn't be happier to have it, guys. It's essentially a 3D platformer, and basically what it is is a lost episode of Futurama. So if you're a fan of the series, you just gotta get it. Um, it's gonna put a dent in your pocketbook. It's about a hundo. It has 30 minutes of original cinematics and original cast voiceovers. You get to play as Fry, Leela, Bender, and Dr. Zoidberg, which I was so excited about because Zoidberg is the man. So yeah, guys, that'll do it. This has been our uh, monthly pickups video for the month of May. And if you like what you saw here today, be sure to click the links below to like, subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell to stay up to date on all of Outlaw Bits videos as soon as they're posted. I can't thank you guys enough for watching, and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this first monthly pickups video. I just wanted to kind of try something new, so be sure to leave your feedback in the comments section and let me know what you think. This has been Kurt Stevens with Outlaw Bits Gaming, signing off.